Wait, no, I survived this. Oh my god, I actually do. Unironically do. That is insanity. And I can get rid of the Gissa. So you're telling me this guy just literally just completely ruined all his shots. How's it going, boys? We're back to standard, and I have to say, we are cooking good. This is the best mono black deck you have ever seen in your entire life. It's competitive, it's classy, it's everything you have ever wanted in your life. We got card draw, we have early game pushes, we have obviously Shreldred, and we have even some more Shreldred. It's beautiful. Reanimation, things that make control players go unhappy, and things that make aggro players go unhappy. It is peak perfection at its absolute finest, and I'm not afraid to say it. 100% win rate, Garen obviously teed. In any case, 24 leans to be specific, 3.8 average mana cost, but don't you worry about it, because it is the Pyrexian Flesh Quadrant and it is Virtue of Persistence, which are both only considered a 7 cost card. Which means we are always guaranteed to start with one or two of these cards in the opening hand, and that is not bad, because this is live game and it's really annoying, and this is perfect late game and really good against aggro. So, it's beautiful. I can't say honestly anything else. Do we do have a bit of Field of Ruin and a little bit of Mitrex, and it's awesome. Oh yes. Anyway, with that being said, without any further ado, let's just get a Kraken and see what happens. Look at this perfection. If we're playing against aggro. Otherwise, questionable, but I feel lucky. And 90 cards. Yeah, wizards, please fix this i i, I can't i i i don't want to play against each 90 card imbeciles okay groove mer merchant okay he's not groovy is he playing 80 card life game hey not my problem actually you know what wizards don't don't change anything i have changed my opinion officially let's put the late uh, let's put the cat on purple and let's have some fun there is a chance maybe he's or soft Mountain? Oh, no, 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 no. This, this is probably just mono white, and he's, he's, you know, trying real hard to uh, thin out his deck. Because it's 90 cards, for God's sake. Okay, okay. Relax myself. It's fine. He can't do anything. The weakness of the flesh is very visible. And, well, I technically cannot do anything currently. I see a very bright future ahead. There's no way he has an interaction there. Good, good, good. He may actually have... <gasps> no way, 80 cards. He could be playing a farewell. And he most likely has three farewells in his opening hand. That is classic wizards. Okay. You see why I don't like playing standard? Every single time I play against Mono White, I instantaneously get a little bit self-conscious about the fact that farewell exists. I honestly don't think that's healthy for me, but then again I do a lot of things that are definitely not healthy for me, so you know, it'd be what it is. Anyway, cut down. You know why we used cut down? Because this girl looks like a street urchin boy and that's kind of disgusting. It is what it is. And thus, we cut down the filth from the streets. It's a tough job, but I do it with a smile on my face, it's beautiful. In any case... Our opponent ha somehow has not lost a single point of life, and I am being land flooded like there is no tomorrow. Oh boy. Well, we're technically winning, so I guess it's not really that bad, I guess. But, you know, still a little bit sus. In any case, if we draw some big card, wait a minute, we could actually use Chimil in situations like this. What if we add one Chimil instead of uh, virtue of persistence. I'm just kidding. That's already dead, by the way. <laughs> Obviously. Maybe I should cut in two chimels, though. Two chimels would be pretty big, not gonna lie. Anyway, our opponent is literally not doing anything. I, I don't know what, what, you, what you're even supposed to do. Are, are you supposed to do... Oh, wow. Oh, you made my Liliana... Wait, did even that make it more expensive? Um, why does it cost two? Now it costs zero? Um, wizards, hello? 
Did you plot my Lilian for free? I'm so confused. Okay, so I played the Lilian for free. What a what a great card. What 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 an absolute great card, you know? I, I am I am so thrilled. I'm loving it, McDonald's. Thank you. Beautiful. Okay, he does things, he does stuff. Not that I care too much. Do I drop the Liliana or do I just, you know, march it down? I could march it down, that's kinda nice. I think I will. No, seriously, this costs zero, wow. Okay, oh, in that case I'm just gonna use another Liliana. Um, right. Okay, I feel that this is gonna take a while to win, but I mean, we're winning. And no, seriously, this card costs zero now. So, he pushed it back, did nothing, and I'm assuming he's gonna play the card that makes it so I can only play one card per turn. But considering I have instants, that doesn't really work. Also, if you have planeswalkers, that makes, you know, uh, it a lot better, because planeswalkers are typically like casting an extra spell per turn. So, what now? What, what, what now? I hope Wizards asks him after this game, do you have fun? <laughs> because they're gonna ask me, that is, that is for sure, okay? That is for sure. Okay, he's, he's thinking. I mean, there's a lot of decision making probably going on there. He's thinking real hard and he thought real hard and this is where he got, boys. Um, he did it. He, he played an Elish Norn. Wow. What a time to be a time. And I'm still drawing lands. Okay, can I actually kill her? No. Okay, well, uh, plan B, I guess. Just, just replay the freebie Lillian and, you know, see what happens. Ah, we're, we're doing stuff, boys. We're, we're doing stuff. Do, you, you think I'm gonna draw more lands? Because, I mean, it feels like I should. <laughs> It feels like I should draw more lands. It's it's amazing. 10 out of 10. At least we have Liliana to look at. Beautiful. Luscious, lustrous, and everything that I want in life. What can you even do with this? You can make you can make a soldier token, and it does literally nothing. Except makes you kind of technically feel bad about life decisions. Okay? Ooh, Pyrexian Arena, no, that is exactly what daddy wanted. I'm daddy, by the way. You know, and, and you're safe for this banana slam. Which is also the, you know, initiation word. Anyway, let's do this because I probably don't need that much. We have the Pyrexian Arena, so, you know, good things ahoy, as one might say. Uh, Faithful Absence just got sacked because I think he doesn't want me to draw cards, which is understandable. So what now? I definitely see someone this educated, capable, and erudite to, you know, just f farewell at this point and destroy everything he has honestly i i i feel like it you know i i can i can see it in the stars that is that is definitely a world where that happens which means i pro if i don't get the one advantage from pyrexian arena he could win he could win An another another decision is being made by onichan I'm just gonna spam him with emotes because, I mean, I need a way to be toxic and thankfully Wizards is allowing everyone to be as toxic as they want. Because, I mean, if this was real life, the Glock would have already been out and I, I, I would be shooting like there's no tomorrow, boys, okay? It, it just is what it is. Okay, play everything, I guess, and just destroy a Ketra because why not? Uh, then she transforms into a plane, and I and someone took on a Vinky, and that was ooh, that's dirty. Yay! Okay, depopulate. You could have probably used that, Chief. Not gonna lie. By the way, I can destroy your Ketra. You know what? I'm actually gonna do that. Pointless, but I mean, why not at this point? What a what a game! What a game! 
Do you think Wizards actually wants this Meld Breeder to win? Question mark. Because it kind of seems like it. It really kind of seems like it. I'm just going to queue up a little bit more emote spam. And there it is. Literal skill and a pill. Wowie woo wow. I mean, he tried real... All it takes, just a white sun twilight because mech reasons. And now I actually need to kind of destroy everything here, otherwise it's not looking good, potato, potato. Okay, he can also do this now. Okay, what are my options here? I can't... Do you think he just has more white sun's twilights? Again, white, sides twi white, uh, white sun's twilight is very dangerous because it does dangerous things. What a sentence, I know, thank you. Okay, so what do I do? Do I just steal his Elish Norn because reasons? I could. Or I could reanimate the Pyrexian. How has he not lost HP, though? What a match, in any case. He plays the land. How is How does he not have... By the, how has he not run out of... Oh my lord, look at that. He's doing things in MacGuffins. Wait, if he plays this, does... Does this proc happen twice? I'm not actually sure. I wonder what he's gonna play, though. He doesn't have too many options. His best play is this plus this. But there is a there is a world where he does other things because autism. Yeah, yeah. I'm pretty sure you can't just cast things with flash from exile, right? Did this? When did this stop? Until the end of the turn. Okay. Was it one card? No, you may cast anything. Great, great. What, what, what splendid news. Anyway, queue it up, boys. Queue it up. As you can see, the... He must be a red player at heart. You know what I'm saying? He, he must be a red player at heart. Okay, now I just want him to do something else. I'm not gonna let this survive because it's a little bit too dangerous. And he does that. I, I don't honestly know which is uh, which is worse. So I'm, I'm just gonna do it like this. I need to draw a rat. If I don't draw a rat, it's not fun. Yeah, again, again, just just white sense twilight. Be, be, be a mouth breather. It, it's cool. It's fine. It's whatever. Okay, is this four counters? Nope, only two. Oh god, you suck, two lands. No, not two lands. Kind of honestly amazed it was not two lands. And turns out uh, Elishnorn prevents my Shreldred from doing things. I actually forgot that's a thing. But that's fine. That is fine. Again, sooner or later I'm gonna draw a brat or something like that. And it's gonna be like, ooh, ooh, ah, tra la la, ding, 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 bang, bang. It's gonna be great. It's gonna be great. Trust me, boys. It's not like I'm losing my mind currently playing the shit, uh, shit storm of a game, but I am. I definitely am. You can see my Santi slowly deteriorating. Not gonna lie, there wasn't a lot to deteriorate in the first place, but, you know, that is just life. Okay, so what now? He can attack me, but does that actually do anything? I don't even know. Okay, he, he does the transform, convoke transform. What a champion. Also, that was pretty good. He attacks me with everything. I literally could not care less, though. I am gonna flip the Shreldred, and you can you you can just you know eat it. More lands and more lands yet again. I I feel extreme. Can I? Nah, I'm just gonna I'm just gonna flip it. I'm just I'm just flipping it. Okay, boys, it's fine. It's fine. You know what? It doesn't even matter. It, it doesn't even matter. Look at this. Look at this beautiful flippity floop. Do I... Do you think he has a white sense to... Oh my lord, look at that, it's an S. Do you think he's just gonna take get something that actually destroys the scripture? I think there is a world where we live in where he just destroys the scripture because that's just the, the grand plan of wizards, okay? Again, 90 card deck and it is what it is. I hate life so much. Like, look at this absolute disaster area. I can't even play my virtual. Uh, well, admittedly, at this rate, I have, what, 11 lands out? There's no way I'm not gonna play my uh, virtue and do something else, right? I hope I get something that I can actually hit White, Sides, uh, White, White Sun's Twilight in the exile. 
that would be good, I think. Um, he got us daddy and welcome, so Wizards is really keen on making this just a little bit more annoying. This is a knight, nothing else is a knight. Why would you even play this card, you filthy animal? And how have... How does he have a card advantage against me? You know, just asking for a friend at this point. How does SA have a card advantage against me? How is this even real life? Also, mill three cards, this card stuff. Wait, he actually this card just a big one. Ah, yeah, that's a pretty good this this card. Anyway, what do I do? I honestly probably go for this because poison counters are honestly not gonna lie a little bit more danger zone than anything else currently, so I might as well. Anyway, as long as he doesn't second white suns twilight me like there's no tomorrow, we fine, we fine. Okay, gonna queue up a little bit more of these emotes because everyone likes watching jiggle physics when it comes to Lilia. Well, okay, there's not enough jiggle physics. Wizards is categorically against jiggle physics. There, there should be a bounce. Let's be real. I have studied Liliana's a a a autonomy to the utmost extent. And so have you. We all know that there should be a jiggle. But there isn't. And that's cute, but it does nothing. You should feel bad about yourself. Also, this is gonna come in. There's gonna be an Elish Norn frog that doubles it up. Oh, Sand Paragon, that's pretty cute. Anyway, he's trying to win really, really hard, if you have not noticed, and I think it's dumb. You, you should feel bad about your life choices. I'm gonna reanimate this, because why not, honestly, at this point. Okay, we got a bat so very cool, very cool. And just a lot of procs happen. Uh, very cool. Again, indeed. Do I want another? No. I actually don't care about... Why is this procing three times? Hello? Uh, sure. Draw me a, draw me a thing. Uh, decline. And now this is gonna proc two times. What you gonna do now, sunshine? Hopefully nothing. Hopefully nothing. I also have no idea why the... Oh, because I have a uh, uh, Saddest Patagon. It just makes sense. Anyway, drop this. Why not? Boom, bam. Boom, bam. And, I mean, activate again because, you know, that's just the life we live. <laughs> ah, yes. That's the best part about the scriptures. It just never stops. Also, that's a lot of citizen tokens. Oh. And it doesn't do anything because of Elish Norn. This is the win I deserve because my opponent doesn't deserve oxygen. Oh god. 90 cards. Spare me, wizards. Spare me. Okay? J just, just spare me. I'm gonna block with everything because I could not care less at this point. Maybe that's gonna overload his mind, honestly, who knows. Also, some of these things have lifelink. More precisely, like, only two of them, but that's fine. <laughs> he got close, boys. But even wizards can't make a turd into a... Um... Wagyu A6 steak? Man, I wanna taste some Wagyu steak, boys. Don't know about you, but that's a dream, okay? I want I wanna expeed uh, well, I wanna eat that. Oh look at that, he chose things. What a what a champion. Anyway, I wanna eat that Wagyu goodness, okay boys? And the animation bug, but you know, I don't expect a lot from this game. <laughs> I really don't. I really do not expect a lot from this game, but it's fine. It's fine. Okay, there we have a devious cover-up. Oh, oh, oh. He almost did it, by the way. He almost got the once, uh, White Sun's Twilight, which is hilarious. Wait! Wait! This doesn't actually end him, even. Wait, 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 wait. He has 51 HP! Yeah! He has 51... We, we haven't even won yet. Oh, Jesus. I, I did not even think that. Wow, we, we haven't even won yet. Okay. 
a little bit uptight, but you know, it is what it is. It... If he fa he doesn't fare well, good, good. Okay. Okay, it's over, it's Joker, it's... Why did you actually proc when this entered the battlefield? Oh, because it's supposed to get a counter at the end? I don't, I don't even know, okay? I don't, I don't, I don't even know. Anyway, let's, let's take this. Decline. Decline yet again, and decline yet again. Oh, yes. And decline, decline. Well, actually, oh, look at that. Shreldra decided to actually show herself. Yay. I'm so happy about my life choices. Anyway, draw some stuff. Draw some more land. How do I only draw lands? No, seriously. So, we have drawn what? 90% of our lands and 50% of the deck? Good game, my dude. This was not even close, okay? You should feel bad about how this game has went, okay? Good game, good game. I, 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 lo I, I love these Dawn Rigged matches, boys. I really, really do. Going first in two Pyrexian arenas. Interesting. Are you red? Tell me. Oh, dope, dope. Orza. So I'm gonna just uh, save this Pyrexian arena. Not Pyrexian arena, but the Shreldra Cedic, like my life to pay. Because it probably does, doesn't it? It probably does. This definitely looks like Kaya Orza shenanigans. And by the way, as all as we all obviously know. After you win a forced loss like that, revenge by Arena comes swift. And that was no exception. I'm not gonna show you the game I had right after the first one, uh, but I'll just sum it, down, uh, sum it up for you. Opponent goes first, I have literally nothing to play, that's absolutely fine, who cares, right? Uh, opponent just drops three lands, Turn 3 Simulacrum, turn 4 Simulacrum, and I pretty much instantaneously die. Because... Shreldred Seed... Okay, well, I have a lot of Shreldred... I, I guess I'm gonna do this, because what else? I, I have three of them, okay? This is fine. Plus, I do have a Shreldred that can force the sack, so I, I, I guess this is okay. Uh, but yeah, needless to say, there's no point in showing that game because I lost in a single minute. It's just hilarious and sad. Mostly sad. In any case, what is our opponent doing? Stuff and things. Wow, what a champion of the people. Okay, do you think he has a way to get rid of the Pyrexian Reign? I think he does, that dirty little shit. Ooh. Wait, who can I cast this on? No one, said the right, said the game. So I'm gonna get rid of you because you're the biggest amount of damage. And then just drop another Pyrexian Arena, because why not? Yay! I'm taking damage! But we are gonna be able to win past... <laughs> My dude! Can we, like, not, maybe? You know, just just for a second? And he chooses Shreldrak Edict again, and he just attacks with that. Cho I mean, choices are definitely being made here. But are these even remotely smart choices? Hell nah. This person is going places, but not college. Definitely not college. Other places, fun places, like alleyways at night between bars. You know, that's where the magic happens. Anyway, our opponent literally cannot stop dropping just random MacGuffin creatures, which is great. Yay, said someone probably somewhere. So what do I do in this situation? Well, I'm gonna reanimate the bigger version of the Steel Seraph. So, you know, he can have all the fun in the world. Oh, this is great. Lands, more lands, wait a minute. Now it's still, still dropping the Virtue. Still being as virtuous as always. I need that Shredder, otherwise this is gonna actually kill me. Well, the Steel Seraph is technically gonna give me lifelink really good. So, maybe I don't actually have to worry about stuff that much. But then again... Oh. Wait, he's going pretty deep here, yo. I'm not a... I'm not, I'm not, I'm not a fan. But admittedly, that is all his mana, so... Technically, maybe not even that bad. Yeah, give it life, Link. Give it that life, Link, you little dirty... 
dirty boy. In any case, again, I am gonna reanimate stuff. And that stuff is gonna be big stuff. Yes, yes, yes. Ooh, it actually kind of works. Okay, so what do I do first? Probably this. Beautiful. Be ecstatic, even. Then I do this, and now I just attack. And give this life link. Yes. Look at those HP troubles just wash away under the starry moonlight. There's a song about that. I think. Cat on purple so he doesn't rat us in an annoying way or fashion. But then again, if he does rat us, what's the big deal? I still reanimate Seraphs. <gasps> Mamma mia! People are popular! Okay. Well, I guess, I guess, I guess it's uh, adios, you little, uh, you little shit of, shitty defective mite. It is what it is. Anyway, uh, what do I want? I guess an uh, a process and he just concedes. Nice. Elephant Avatar man, what a time to be alive. Whoop whoop. Okay, what do you think? Oh. Okay, he's playing stuff. I like it. I like it. We haven't encountered also any disgusting Boros, another one. I mean the card's not bad, but you know. Well, it's it's just good. It's just a good card. Okay. It's almost... Uh, this card, you know, it reminds me of. There was this energy card. It was a two... Whoa, 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 whoa. Relax here. Okay, there's there's no need to be like that. We're all friends here. I don't want to get milled by you. You don't want to get milled by me. And... Do I even plus one? No, I don't. He has too much of a card advantage currently. If he starts playing things that do boops and bibbles, I'm not gonna be happy noises. So, let's put the cat on purple, and he just kills my planeswalker. That's very cool. Okay, do nothing. A classic, a classic. I don't like people who use bitter triumph. Oh, wow. Well, you know what I like even less? People who use that card. Ugh. You pasty looking shit. Anyway, take the damage, I guess. What else am I supposed to do? My turn, and I, ju I just don't want him to get the descent effect. And that's pretty much it. Now now he can have fun. Ooh, a Shreldred. Okay, now he can have a lot of fun. Hopefully he doesn't remove her, because I like her. In any case, what do I do now? Uh, he has removal. Oh, you little, little ass. Well, the good part is he probably can't do anything, and it seems like my deck is a little bit more value side, which kind of should give me an advantage. Kinda. Not at this rate, though, but kinda. Kinda. This is pretty, uh, pretty high value. Wait, why do you have haste again, you little shit? Oh, this gives haste, right. Well, now. That, that doesn't make me feel good about that situation, though. But at least now we know. Anyway, get rid of it. He has only three lands, which kind of gives me an uh, advantage. I kind of want to uh, use also... Whoa! Whoa, Chief, like, relax, you know? Like, what is this? A Gix? Oh, man, you unlucky little elephant boy, you. Also, have we played against him before? I think we have. Zelan. Whatever. Anyway, still gonna work so he doesn't descend. Instantaneously get rid of it. He still has a card advantage, but I have the emotional advantage. And that's not bad. If we actually get the lands now, it's gonna work pretty well. So, what do I do? Oh my god, and not... Wait, wait. Do I care? Well, he still can't really do anything if we're being completely real here. And now to get more... Wait, no, wait, I need to wait a little bit. This is fine. This is fine. Okay, now now, now we do this. Now we do this as, as the turn has ended. Or we could do it in the battle stage because you don't keep the mana. But, you know, who cares, right? Anyway, our opponent is doing things. And I am now... Gonna get two lands because I decided to do this. Voila! Exactly as I said, zero lands. But in any case, now we have a severe advantage, honestly, over him. 
which is good. I like it. So, what now? Does this resolve? Yes. Huh. I guess that's fine. A oh, Liliana! Are you gonna plus one? Are you gonna be a man? The man your father never was. No, of course not. Weak. Weak! In any case, do I play the shell? That I have a feeling I probably don't. Well, I play the Sheldred at this point, it's it's just gonna get destroyed by Liliana. Chances are Devious cover-up is gonna be a little bit more devious and I'm gonna like it a little bit more. He has four lands, boys, but I can drop a virtue of something. Wow. Wow. Okay, you know what's bad though? He's definitely playing a Sheldred to call his own and that's not good. That is not good. Do I actually survive fast enough for this to work out? This is gonna put him in Delve. If he does it. Yeah, it just Delved. Hmm. That's a lot of damage. I don't like it. I don't like it, boys. I, I am not a fan. So I am, if I can survive a turn, we're, we're kind of, we're kind of cooking good, right? But that's if we can survive. I should have, no, no, if I drop the shelter again, he just Liliana's and that doesn't do anything. Another shelter though. Oh, cute. What can I even do here? Okay, I drop the sh I, I think I just lose. Yeah, that doesn't seem much that I can do. Our deck is way better than his. But he just got more aggro things. And the Liliana when it was absolutely just pure destruction against us. Because yeah, and now he can do this and that's four and he does, uh, does that. That's seven. I have one HP left. There's nothing I can do. Oh my god, you absolute moron. All oh, right, this proc speak is reasons. I forgot about that. I should steal that idea. Anyway, now the cover up actually kind of does something. But what does it actually do? Wait, no, I survived this. Oh my god, I actually do. Unironically do. That is insanity. And I can get rid of the Gissa. So you're telling me this guy just literally just completely ruined all his shots. That is crazy. Let's see what he has here. Honestly, not a lot. Completely nothing, in fact. That is impressively sad. Okay, okay. I think I just... So he doesn't have removal. He has six. That does, that does something, but honestly, who cares, right? This creates that. He can drop a Gix. Yeah, I'm just gonna do this for three now. And unless he... Oh, wait. Wait. No, wait, 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 wait. I can f play the full Flesh Gorger. Oh my god. This absolute lampoon. Completely just botched it up. If he does not get lucky and draw a card that destroys the Pyrexian Flesh Gorger, he has nothing. Yeah, this this means nothing. Admittedly, I do lose a little bit, but you know, it's it's fine. Anyway, mill a card, lose one life. Still I vague now, if he drops something big though, I still kinda lose. But there is a chance he doesn't. And I just drop a Pyrexian Flesh Gorger like, like there's no tomorrow anyway. Oh wait, but then he doesn't attack. No, he's gonna botch it up anyway because he's a botchling. Attack me. Oh no, he has removal, probably. Attack me. Do it. Oh wow, he's actually gonna attack, huh? Yeah, he, he's, he's full swinging, boys. He doesn't understand that if he doesn't swing, the Pyrexian Arena is gonna end me. Holy moly! Or he doesn't want to risk it. I mean, maybe he doesn't want to risk it. If I had removal, I would just remove- And he actually does. 2 HP left. What a time to be alive. 
everything went exactly according to some grander scheme of things. Beautiful, what can I say?